density is a quantitative measurement that can be used in chemistry. Now, density is just the state of how compact something is and is going to depend on the volume and the mass of that substance. So you can see here um, these different liquids that are layered on top of each other with some solid things in there. And the highest density is going to be here at the bottom. So that's going to be our biggest density. And the smallest density will be here at the top. And everything just layers on top of its on top of each other because how different their densities are. Our density um, formula is here. The density is going to be equal to the mass divided by the volume. Volume. And they also give us a triangle here. And if you remember correctly, um, if they're next to each other, they multiply. If they're on top and bottom, they divide. So if we're trying to find mass, we cancel that out and we'll do density times volume. If you're trying to find volume, you cancel that out, you do mass divided by density. And if you're trying to find density, you cancel that out and you do mass divided by volume. So that's just our simplistic way of figuring out which equation we should use. So we're gonna do an example together. A substance has a mass of 45 grams. So there's your mass. Mass is equal to 45 grams. And it has a volume of 15 centimeters cubed. And I just wanna put out there for the record, centimeters cubed is the exact same thing as milliliters. And it wants to know what is the density. So our density formula, density is equal to mass divided by volume. I'm gonna plug in my numbers. So my mass is 45 grams and my volume is 15 centimeters cubed, which is the same thing as milliliters. So 45 divided, divided by 15, I got three, and my units for density are just grams per centimeter cubed for this example. Now, density has this um, weird thing where we can find the volume based on what we call the water displacement method. And we do this a lot in the lab. So if we have a graduated cylinder over here and we can place an object in the water and the amount that the water level changes is the exact volume of the object. So in this example, the ball here, it's hard to tell what the volume is just by measuring it. But we drop it in this liquid and the liquid volume goes from 80 up to 100. And that tells us that the volume of the ball must equal 20 milliliters. And that's how you can use water displacement to find the volume of certain objects in order to find the density of those objects.